Hey everybody, welcome back to GDPG, where we play games and talk game design. And we are back with episode 3 of Gone Home. Um, we're just kind of looking around the dad's area again. Um, this is like the second half of his room. Yeah, so the, I guess the question is, do you think we should spend a little less time exploring some of these things and get to... I mean, to you know, it's up to you, man. The Accidental Pariah. This Pariah? is by your dad. Yeah, Mercury Books... Oh, yeah, okay. Terrence Green. Terra, Terrence. <laughs> Ter just throw that. But look, there's more than just that book in there. I would actually oh. see if... <gasps> Dude, you're totally right. Or, or is it just this... Oh, oh nudie mags. Whoa. Wait, what did it say? Japan's bloody war on dolphins. Whoa. Ladies writing the women... Or ladies in the, the ring. ring. The, the women, women of, of wrestling. wrestling. The new rules of love. And then it said gross, Dad. Because like, you, you went back in so fast. It went, oh, oh gosh. Grab Dad's second book. Oh. It says, gosh, Dad, yeah. I wonder if there are any others. Uh, there are, nah. but... Yeah, but we'll... <laughs> that's, that's kind of fun, though. Yeah, I yeah, feel like that gives our dad a little bit more character, too. Fresh. Wow. Readers tell... Us about their worst moments. I was a nine zero two one zero. Does anyone I still care? care? The you, male gaze. How to subvert it? How to subvert it? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's beautiful. Wait, it doesn't even grab a tissue. I think I'm pretty sure it's grab a tissue. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> ginkgo leaves. That was like ginkgo. Grab you, tissue box. How do you grab a tissue? Darn. Dang. Dang, nabbit. So that, that is the thing about this game. There's a lot to look at. Um, so I'm sure speedrunners would have a blast. I don't think this is really the kind of game you would want to speedrun. Right. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the review you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth. From, edit from an editing standpoint, there's a word limit. It's your job to stand under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's become harder and harder to weed out the, ta the tangents and non-sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of home theater aficionado want to hear about the quality of the value of the hardware, not ruminations of your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who could take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use, but David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on this say on this on his, his say-so. Say -so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kerwood, review editor, Home Theater Aficionado Magazine. It's kind of a dick thing. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 0451. 0451. I bet you that might open a cabinet. Probably not. I bet you'll open, open a cabinet. Oh, let's both open that. I bet you'll open a cabinet. Zero. Four. Five. One. Yes. All right. Dear Mr. Mayen, Mason. Ma oh, it's an S. Wow. Yeah. Dear Mr. Mason, please find in find enclosed in your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Sincerely, Jeffrey uh, Wise. Jeffrey Wise. Cubic and Wise Attorneys at Law. Interesting. Oh, this is a will and testament. Okay. Ooh. I ask her, Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory, and after full survey of valued items to my name, I do I hereby think declare. I a lot of just. Okay. Um, but it looks like they bequeathed the mansion, though, the Arbor Hill, um, as well as any personal hey, property and, and money to accounts to my nephew, Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. of L.E. County. Huh. The event that said Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. should, pre um, should predecease me, then in such event the bequest of him shall fall, and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. There you go. Interesting. So this must be the written the, version yeah, of the will, that. Yeah, the written version of the will and testament. Which I think is probably how you're supposed to do that. Right. That's interesting, though. So now we need to know who this Oscar Mason is. Well, he, well he's, he's clearly your an uncle, like a great uncle of yours. Ooh, grab a bottle. Oh yeah, Irish he likes whiskey. His Irish whiskey. He's a writer. <laughs> that's that's true. Throw that Irish whiskey. Stupid well, dead in his stupid drinks. Gotta yeah. read all these crumpled notes. Oh no. Nope. 
Hi, Tommy. Yes, I am Samantha, and yes, I'm new. What's up? Uh, I just, I can't read that. Yeah, I, think I it's really about can't. I an asking out kind of thing. No, I don't mind. What do you want to ask? Uh, just I think about psycho to uh, something, something. Wow, yeah. That's yeah, really hard. I, can, to read. I don't think they put it in there for us to actually read. See, this is what's creepy. Yep. Is when you open, enter a room, and like there are things that are on. Yep. In an empty house, it's like ghosts. Oh, oh, that is creepy. You know what? I'm just gonna severe weather warning. All right. Well, that's nice. Making friends. Sam, thought this might help, Dad. Oh. Yeah, making friends. Oh. Feeling lonely? It's, it's a, a piece, piece of, of cake. cake. To make friends. Never worry again about having friends to spend time with. This book will teach you to make friends. You know that feeling huh? where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her, till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Ah, and the first cassette. Yes. Big old star to add to the backpack. And thus begins the musical journey. Yes. This is... I really like about the game because you can find cassettes randomly. And you can have a bunch of different music things. <laughs> that is really fun. Yeah. So it kind of gives you some things to look for if you really want to spend the time to comb through. Or if you just want to speed through the game, you can. You know, you can just find the things you need to find. Ooh, this is going to be good. The... Heaven at the edge of the world. Samantha Greenbrier. Grade two. two. Story. The Turtle People Part one. 1. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. Went on forever. Or so it or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the Black Pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. I thought so, the too. The first mate said, look like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out of the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, you're never going to find the edge. There ain't no paradise and your father was a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her father was no liar. The bell kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed toward the sunset. Adorable. So I wonder how old Sam is when, at this point in the game. Well, high school. Because she talks about being a freshman and saying a senior. We, we, we know from context clues that she's just starting at high school. If that backpack is, you know, her most recent backpack. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it'd be pretty unlikely that she just would have it. Oops. Well. <laughs> nice job. And the candle failure thrower is... You know, it's kind of cool, though, this punk kind of music. Oh, I totally dig yeah. it. The X-Files. Yes! Yep. What's this? An cassette. Oh no, that's a coaster. Never mind. Psh, tree leaves. They leaves? That's a tree. Is that a tree? Or is that a leaf? That's well, totally that, leaves. Those are leaves. I guess I'm the imbecile. Psh, I was a Boy Scout, so like, oh yeah. Oh shoot. The Coliseum, the showplace of Oregon. The Coliseum. Pulp Fiction! Oh yeah. yeah! These guys are cool. Dang. M movie prices could have been this cheap? 575, think about it though. That's actually not that much of a far cry to what it is now. It's true. Especially with all the, the the deals that movie theaters have now for like their deal days. I keep looking at that window thing, there's a person there. Dude, me too. Uh, yeah, it's because not. it has the light curtains and it's not like very human shaped, but when it's that far away and it's kind of in your peripherals. Right, you're just like, oh, what is it? I feel like that was. I don't know. Do you think that was an intentional choice? Oh, yeah. I think so. I think everything they did in this game was on purpose, and if it wasn't, that's funny. Katie, please tell Mom and Dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. That's interesting. What's this? A bunch of coupons. 
Coupons! Now, we did miss a whole bunch of stuff on that desk back there, though. Did we? I yeah. Back. Um, I Highlighters. Uh, checks. And a note. Oh, note. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home, too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, want to. And we can meet in the parking lot after math. After six. After six. Samantha. Yeah. yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. I like oh. the Hadouken. Yeah, but we man. know that they play Street Fighter. Yeah, it's a Hadouken, motherfucker. Oh. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. It's kind of cute. So, yeah, right? Exactly. So it sounds like it's kind of blossoming into a, a love story for... For Sam. For Sam and Lonnie. Right? And I'm sure there's going to be some kind of complication. Um, but that's interesting. Pamphlet. U.S. National Forest Manual. Oh, yeah. All these dark rooms. Jeez. But we should probably explore this room on the next episode. But that painting, though. Oh, that painting, though. What does it mean? That life is a meaningless empty shell, Chris. Yeah, I can see it. So on that note, <laughs> <laughs> um, question of the day. Uh, question of the day, I think... Hmm. Well, I mean, this is our first time we got we got music. This is the first time we actually got to stick a cassette into something. You know, okay, I guess we could talk a bit about the sound and music design. So yeah. obviously there's no music, except yep. for the cassette. Yep, when you, when you choose to put music in. Um, which I think is a very interesting choice. Now, there's a lot of ambience, which I think is um, also very interesting. It makes it feel very real, yes. right? And I, I think that's the whole point. Um, so... Maybe this is a little similar to the last question of the day, right. um, but I guess what do you think that they're trying to portray with the sound design of this game? And um, you know, are, are they? Do you think that they're succeeding in that? Yeah, absolutely. So guys, just make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, like us. It helps us out. It makes us want to keep making these rad videos. Um, also, please choose the next game you want to see us play, whether it's more Gone Home or one of the other awesome options. Thank you for watching, everyone, and we will see you, well, in the comments, hopefully, but hopefully. also in the next episode. <laughs> comment. Please. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>